Hey everyone, I'm going to walk you through the retention analysis by MoEngage. If you are a marketer or a growth hacker or a product manager, a retention module is really important as it is essential to understand um, your product health with respect to your loyal customers or it is also really important to measure the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns or marketing efforts. So let's try understanding in detail what exactly is retention analysis and where exactly it could be used. Just think of an example that, uh, you know, you're a music streaming app and uh, you have recently acquired uh, users who have been actively playing music for, let's say, 15 or 30 days. Now, using this retention analysis, you'll be able to easily understand that who are these, uh, you know, loyal users or who are these loyal customers who are returning uh, after a certain period of time or who are the users who are actually dropping off or not coming back to your platform. So here I'm talking about the loyal users or set of users. So these set of users are called cohort and a lot of times retention analysis is also mentioned as cohort analysis. So what exactly is a cohort in a pure play marketing or product terminology? So cohort is a set of users who are identified by their um, common behavior. And especially for app analytics or let's say web analytics, cohort is a group of users who have performed the same events in a you know, given duration. Now, to perform the retention analysis, uh, what you need to do is you need to select an event as you know it is the basic uh, selection criteria in uh, the whole more engaged analytics you need to select a first event and you can let's say that i'm trying to select a first event of app or site open uh, you can drill it down or um, you know make it more customized by uh, selecting the attribute as well so with that i can probably try selecting this particular app event which has been done on um, any specific app version or through any specific uh, medium or source or any anything like that or i can uh, set, uh, select you know even multiple uh, first events by using the or feature in analytics and it's mandatory that i need to select a return event as well but before moving to that or before performing an analysis Let's think that how exactly as a, a marketer or a product manager, you could use retention analysis or what kind of questions or business uh, use cases you could solve using this retention analysis. So think of a scenario where, uh, you know, you want to understand or you want to exactly see the trend where uh, you want to find out that how many users are sticking around with my platform after they sign up or uh, what is the percentage of users who have visited a particular product on my app? Uh, later, they came back and bought the product. If you are a e-commerce provider, right? So the, the these are the sort of the major business scenarios that uh, you will be able to uh, identify and you will be able to solve using the retention analysis. Now, just uh, think of the uh, you know example that you're an OTT player and you want to understand that how many users are sticking around with the platform and you want to create a cohort for those users and you want to uh, see this analysis in detail right so I'll be selecting my uh, first event uh, for this as you know app or site being open and I'll also be seeing my uh, you know the same uh, event as my return event so i can use this easy functionality of copying this event to the return step and this whole event will be copied as a return event as well now if you can uh, you you know you want to drill it down or uh, you want to customize this particular event to uh, any specific attribute you can use this attribute filter as well uh, you can try checking it for the last known city or you can try checking it for any specific app version or anything based on your choice right and after you're done uh, selecting your first and return event uh, you know you need to select uh, for whom you are trying to do this analysis either it is going to be for all the users or you want to 
filter users based on uh, or um, you know segment these users based on the specific user properties user behavior or uh, this user affinities or you want to perform this particular analysis for any specific custom segment you can select those segments as well uh, let's let's say that uh, i'm trying to do this analysis for all the users right now now there comes a question that uh, moengage provides you uh, different types of retention options so what are exactly these retention options and when these retention options uh, could be used you know because uh, let's say each and every businesses have uh, their own their own use cases right uh, if you are a marketer in a, a banking or fintech segment and if you're a marketer in a e-commerce segment or if you're a marketer in a streaming or ott segment your goals uh, could be different right every marketer may have a different way of measuring uh, their own acquisition and retention the way uh, their users are actually engaging with the platform now just think of scenario uh, for an ott platform uh, you will want to see uh, the return visitor by number of uh, you know users were returning and visiting the platform but in in terms of e-commerce or let's say in terms of banking you would like to see the length of engagement or retention of a customer over the time right so this this could be different and uh, hence more engaged as a uh, analytics provider we offer you three different types of uh, retention calculation first is unbounded we have next as a end day and we have also first occurrence uh, retention now let's look at it in detail that what exactly are these retention types and what exactly they mean so talking about the end day retention so end day retention shows how many users did uh, the return event after they performed their first event and let's say that you want to find out all users who opened the app exactly uh, after seven day they installed it right so this could be a scenario where you want to you know let's say that answer that how many users open my app on day seven so this could be a uh, you know a great use case for a social media or a gaming uh, platform where apps have the primary goal as engagement uh, maybe it could be daily active users or, or monthly active users right now we also uh, we provide unbounded retention so what exactly this means unbounded retention uh, to understand it in detail consider a 30 days window where you want to understand the user retention on day seven or after day seven right so it will show you all users retained until a particular day or later uh, maybe let's say that you want to answer the question that how many users opened the app on day seven or later and this could be an ideal scenario in the industry of e-commerce or travel why it is an ideal scenario in these industries because in these industry you will be seeing uh, the platform with uh, you know fairly irregular users patterns the users do not have a defined users pattern that user would be coming on this day uh, and i'm sure about it right then we also offer uh, first occurrence so first occurrence uh, retention will tell you how long a user finish an act uh, how long uh, it takes for a user to finish the action for the first time uh maybe just think that uh, uh it could be first purchase or first transaction made made on your app so it, it actually helps you to understand time taken by a user to make their uh, first purchase or any return event uh this is a really important uh, uh retention type that actually uh, helps you to answer like how long did it take for my user to make their first purchase right and this is a really good uh, use case for uh, the banking and e-commerce sector because it tells you the efficiency of your onboarding process like how much uh, you know campaign effect uh, impact it was or how efficient your uh, onboarding process was so that your user uh, came and actually made the purchase or made any transaction so you can also improve your onboarding experience now let's uh, look at all these retention types with 
uh, detailed examples. So I'm heading to our help documents. Uh, talking from the uh, end data retention, right? Let's look at this diagram here. If you're seeing in this diagram, uh, user opens the app on day zero. But on day one, user doesn't open the app. Again, on day two, user opens the app. Similarly, on day three, user doesn't open the app. And on day four, user opens the app. So for this example, the user installed the app that was the first event on day zero. And user has opened the app uh, at least one on day zero, day two, and day four, but has not opened the app anytime on day one um, and day three. So the user will be counted as retained only for day zero, day two, and day four. Or uh, that means on the days when user has actually performed the event. Now looking at the other example for unbounded retention. Here, if you are seeing that on day zero, user has opens the app. On day one, also user opens the app. Uh, on day two, user doesn't open the app. And day three, user opens the app. But if you're seeing on day zero, user has been counted on day one, day two, and day three. On all these four days, user has been counted. So if similarly, what exactly it means here? So if you'd see the user opened the app on day zero, day one, and day three, but did not open the app on day two. But the user is counted as retained for day zero, day one, day two as well, and day three. The user will be counted retained for day two as the user was active on the platform for the later period on day three. So and even after uh, you know the next day uh, uh, of of the time when you are not active on the app, but on the next day my user is being active on the app. So for in that scenario, uh, my user will be counted uh, if I'm selecting unbounded retention as my retention type. Then we have first occurrence retention. Here, if you'd see uh, on day zero, user does not open the app. Similarly, on day one, user doesn't open the app and user directly opens the app on uh, day three. So in this scenario, what exactly it interprets? So if you'd see the user uh, installed the app, that was our first event on day zero. The user did not perform the purchase on day one, day two. The user counted as inactive on day one, day two, but on day three, when the user uh, ma makes a purchase, that is a return event for the very first time, the user is counted as a return user on day three. So these are the different types of uh, retention analysis that uh, we offer. And based on your industry, uh, you would be able to select the best uh, possible uh, um, retention type and you can select, uh, you can try understanding that what works the best for your uh, industry and for the use case you're looking to solve. So in this uh, example, I'm going through uh, the retention type by ending. And let's say that I'm trying to select this duration as last month. And you can also uh, split this whole retention analysis based on the event attributes. Uh, the mode of acquisition or user's life cycle or the reachability information that's based uh, up to your choice. So in this uh, use case, I'm not trying to go through any of the split selection. Now I'm hitting apply for uh, end day retention uh, analysis for the duration as last month. Now upon checking the retention chart, uh, you'd be seeing that uh, these charts could be, uh, you know, changed based on uh, the views of daily, uh, weekly, and monthly granularities as well. So what exactly the retention chart says? So retention chart uh, is actually the weighted average of percentage of cohort users for the selected duration. And this particular chart could be viewed uh, in terms of daily, weekly, uh, and monthly as well. You can select the view uh, uh, that is up to yours. And you'll be here seeing the uh, retention on week zero, week one. Similarly, on a daily uh, way, if you are trying to see, you'll be seeing the uh, retention on a daily basis that you'll be seeing on day zero, what exactly is the retention and what exactly is it, it is on day one. Now, let's talk about retention table in detail because this is the major uh, feature and this is the mostly uh, viewed or consumable by the decision makers. So on retention table, if you would see, on a high level, it tells you how your acquisition efforts are going 
and and how it exactly retention of users look like so if you look at it from top to bottom it tells acquired users over time okay and now to see whether these users are coming back to your app or making transactions or let's say using uh, the app in some way over longer period for that we will go left to right to see the retention visits so on top this overall tells you the you know uh, a detailed uh, I, I can say uh, the data that how exactly on an overall basis among the overall users uh, what exactly has been your attention looking like on day one day two day three but uh, as you go uh, you know top to bottom and uh, left to uh, right you you will be able to see that with time how many users got acquired so that defines like what exactly is your retention and as a marketer you will be able to check uh, what led to decline in these users in these many months so if you would see uh, on day one I'm trying to see here 1.58 percent and similarly on day two it is uh, 0.87 percent and this this has been uh, you know kind of stable over the time but uh, here if you would be seeing that as as we uh, go down uh, let's say the date as an example of uh, May 8th I'm able to see that there's a user uh, on, on May 8th, uh, it is starting with 1.70% and so gradually it is, uh, you know, declining and I'm also seeing the data as a zero one. So as a marketer, you would want to understand that what could be the uh, reason of these decline and what could be the actions I'd be able to take on these smaller cohorts. So to take the action on this cohort, you can use the feature called actionable analytics, where you can just hover to any specific cell and click on that particular cell to take an action. Whether you can just try selecting these as any specific segment. And you, you need to just uh, check the bar in terms of taking an action. Uh, as either to create a campaign you can create any of the specific campaign of your choice and you can set a delivery type for those else if you would like to see that hey uh, i do not want to create a campaign on these uh, cohort but rather i want to deeply analyze these particular cohorts so moengage also offers you a direct analysis for these uh, you know custom segments whether you just need to select the analysis type either going from behavior funnels retention user paths and you just need to uh, select any specific analysis type and you just need to cl click on analyze it will be taking you to the specific page whether your analysis could be performed so this is all about the retention analysis by moengage and as a marketer this is a actually a really powerful uh, analysis to be performed in terms of understanding that how exactly is the users sticking to my uh, platform is my marketing efforts in terms of uh, retaining the user being successful or not and what are the other areas I could uh, improve in terms of giving a seamless uh, onboarding experience to the users so that they could uh, do more and more transactions to uh, my application so i hope it helps and you perform more uh, analysis on the retention uh, and uh, it helps you to make more decisions uh, that would certainly add value in terms of uh, retaining and uh, making your users stick to your platform for a longer time thank you